a snooze feature that can be very helpful for a couple of different reasons. I'm going to open up this product and show you where to access the snooze feature and explain to you why it could be helpful. All right, let's say for example we have a product and we do not want to reorder this product. We just want to liquidate it, get it, get rid of it. We can go into our orders and we can click the snooze forever button. That is going to keep us from being told to order this product if we don't want to order it. So if we still have inventory, maybe we can sell out of that inventory, but we're not going to be told to reorder. So you may want to snooze the, the orders, but not snooze the transfers, right? Maybe you don't want to turn the transfers off. You have a bunch of inventory in your warehouse that you need to sell through. So you want the transfers to be reminding you to transfer, but the orders we're going to turn off. The other reason that you would snooze transfers or snooze orders could be that you have a seasonal product. Maybe you have a Christmas product and you only start ordering it in August. You don't want to be reminded to order this product right now. So you can actually change the date to let's say August 1st and we'll say I don't want to be told to order this product until order or transfer this product until August 1st. So it sets that transfer for August 1st. It's going to unsnooze it at that time. You can always cancel that by simply clicking that button. But you'll also see that you've got a snooze transfer symbol up here. So you can catch, you can see that you've got transfer snooze, but you don't have order snoozed. Once you have order snoozed, it's going to hide the product entirely from your forecasting. Now real quick, I'm gonna show you how to do this all in bulk come into the inventory page and you're going to select the products that you want to snooze. Then you're going to come up to the bulk actions. You can click hide and it's going to give us options. Hide from view, right? It's going to hide it from the inventory page. It's also going to hide it from all of your drop downs. So hide is a very effective way of getting rid of a product that you don't want to see. There are always ways to recover them, but what you'll do is you'll hide them and then you will snooze reordering and you'll snooze forecasting. And that's going to completely get rid of these products for us, right? We can decide that we don't want to snooze forecasting and we can only do a portion of those. We can also access the timeline where we can set it to unsnooze itself at a certain date. We can do this all in bulk. And then if we do hide any items and we want to recover them later, simply click on your filter, change the status to hidden, and then you'll be able to locate all of your hidden items. Hope that was helpful for you.